So we're going to talk about a laden jar. And notice, men, what it consists of. A metal can, a cup, a glass vessel, and another metal cup that has a, 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 a pointer on it with a knob. This is called a capacitor. Indeed, any two metal plates separated by some distance with stuff between or not could be called a condenser or a capacitor. Now this one, you see, can be taken apart. This goes inside and this goes outside and I'm going to do some remarkable experiments. Now you watch what happens. Here is a Van de Graaff generator. The spelling, incidentally, V-A-N-D-E, capital G-R-A-A-F, Van de Graaff. Indeed, when I was a boy about your age, he invented these at MIT in Massachusetts, and I saw the original ones, nearly as big as this studio. Imagine it, huge spheres standing on huge insulating columns with which the men explored high voltage discharge. Now, we are going to make contact of this inner knob with that machine there, and thus store some energy in this vessel. That's why it's called a capacitor. You see, it has some capacity in the sense pretty nearly of a vessel being able to hold so much water. But you must be careful of this uh, hydrostatic analogy. So, Mr. Anderson, will you give us the machine? Oh, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Watch now. Yes, do you see the energy in there? And incidentally, I was getting a discharge from somewhere. Uh, I, do you see? These things are risky. And you may indeed be in the lion's den. Does your mother know you're here? Yes, yes I'm glad of that. Notice, I'm going to discharge this. Oh, yes. Now, watch. I'm going to charge it again. Mr. Anderson? When you're ready. Ready. Let's have it some more. Some more. Good. I want to show that there's energy there, so I connect the outer and the inner. Watch it now. Watch, watch, boys. Do you see? An enormous measure of energy there. And incidentally, there is some forevermore. Forevermore. But look more and more feeble as time goes. Get in here close. Watch, watch there. Watch. Did you see a little? Yes. Now I'm going to do the remarkable thing that I want to do. Watch me. Wait, Mr. Anderson. Wait. Please. A little more. A little more. That's enough. Thank you. Now I am going to disassemble that. I'm going to take it apart. Watch how I do it. I have taken the innermost out, and I have taken the middle one out, and am I not connecting them all with abandon, right? Would you not think that if I ground this to this and this to this, that all the energy would be lost? Would you not think so? Yes, beginners think this, but watch now what happens. I'm going to assemble it. Watch, get in close, watch, watch. Do you see? The energy is still there. How do you like that, Father? Isn't that amazing? Yes, and there are some more there. Yes. Yes, D yes. and watch, get in close, get in close. Did you see it? A little spark. So the question arises, how is it that I can charge this laden jar, disassemble its parts, reassemble it, and still have the energy there?